Hey, what's going on my fellow jewelers? So I love getting inspiration when I go into stores. I like looking at the store's jewelry section so that I'm like, oh, I wanna try that. Ooh, ooh, I like that. And so the other day I was in the mall and I saw this jewelry piece and I was like, huh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. And it was like half chain, half pearls with a pendant. And so I went home, I'm like, well, that was an interesting piece. Well, then I started to see it everywhere. I saw it on social media. I saw it on my Pinterest. I saw this necklace everywhere. And so I'm like, okay, I see you. I see you everywhere that I go. I need to try you out. I need to try to make you and see if I like you and see if I like making you. And guess what? I love making it. Super easy, simple, super simple. And you just need some chain here, some pearls here, and a pendant, boom, and you got yourself a necklace. That's right. So today we're making this piece. And can I tell you, it's probably one of the simplest necklaces I've made in quite a while on these jewelry making videos. And so I'm pretty excited to teach you how to make it. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe my channel and click that bell to get notifications because my channel is all about how to make jewelry and I also do some jewelry making supply product review. So I want to teach you how to make this apparently very trendy necklace. So you and me, let's get started. So this is what you're going to need to make this pearl chain necklace. You're going to need your tools. I got my cutter tools, my long nose pliers, my round nose pliers. For the material, I have my chain. Now this chain is called a paperclip chain and I cut it to about eight inches. And so I want my chain to be the same length as my pearls. So there is um, eight inches of pearls that will match the eight inches of chain. With this necklace, I've also seen people do mainly chain and then a little bit of pearls. So if you wanna do like four inches of pearls and then um, the rest of chain, go ahead and do that. But I'm doing eight inches of chain and eight inches of pearls. Um, with this chain, I found it on Amazon. So if you want this exact chain, you can look in the description below and um, go straight to it and get it for yourself. Now for the other material, I want to have wire. Now I couldn't find any gold wire. And so I'm using silver wire. I would suggest using the same color wire um, as you do your chain. So if you have silver chain, use um, silver wire, but I could not find gold. So we're going to go with silver. I'm going to go with what I have. And so I have wire that I'm going to put through my bead. And then I have my toggle. Now this toggle is important for the necklace. You can't really do a lobster class. You need to do a toggle because the toggle holds your pendant. And so for the pendant, I have a heart and I have this actually silver plate that I got at Michael's. So I'm going to put these two together and make one pendant, which I'm really excited about. I like actually putting silver and gold together so that I can wear that in my outfit. And then also you're going to need two jump rings and then two crimping beads. It's pretty simple. I'm really excited to make it. The first thing I wanna do is I want to string my pearls. So I'm gonna get my wire and this wire does wanna stay on the spool. So I am just going to string my pearls. So I'm gonna string all of my pearls, putting all of my um, eight inch worth of pearls on my wire. So you can go ahead and string your pearls and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, I have strung all my pearls, my eight inches worth of pearls. I am going to now connect my pearls to my chain. Now what I usually would suggest, and you may wanna do this, um, is um, putting a jump ring between the pearls and your chain because sometimes there is a gap in your link and then the pearl part would fall off your chain. Um, I'm actually just gonna put it straight on. So if you want, connect your jump ring to your chain and then connect your pearls to the jump ring, but I'm just gonna hook it straight on and not have a jump ring in between. So I'm going to grab my crimping bead. I have my crimping bead. And then it's actually a tube crimping bead. I prefer regular crimping beads, but this is the only kind I found in gold. So I have my tube crimping bead and then I have, I'm putting on my chain and I'm going to wrap around my wire on my chain and I'm gonna put my crimping bead back through. So like that. And then I am going to crimp my crimping bead, make sure it's tight. It is on and I'm going to, see I have a little bit of this left, don't cut it off, just string it right back through your pearls. String it back through your pearls, yes, 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 okay. Making sure, and make sure the pearls are really um, tight on your crimping bead. So far we have 
this. Yes, very nice. I am liking that. Now I am going to cut my wire. See, I don't usually cut my wire first because sometimes I cut too short and I have to restring it. And so I just leave it on the spool and string it. Um, and so now I am going to cut. Yes, like that. And now I am going to put my toggle on. So now I'm going to put my crimping bead on. I'm going to put my toggle through and then I am going to wrap it around my toggle and then put it through my crimping bead. Don't put it in your bead yet. And now I don't want a gap in my beads. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my long nose pliers and grab a hold of this wire and I'm going to pull and I'm gonna move my crimping bead down and I'm gonna pull some more. Yes. Yes, and this can still move around on your toggle. And I just kind of curled my, my wire. Now I'm gonna take my crimping bead and I'm gonna crimp it. I'm gonna cut off a good amount, probably where I only have enough wire to go through one bead. I'm gonna cut my wire off and then I'm gonna put this wire back through um, my bead so it doesn't poke anybody. You could just cut it off, but I feel then it slides out of the crimping bead really well. And I know some People have commented saying, no, it doesn't, but it, do it, it, it for me, it does. It just compromises the necklace. So I'm putting it back through the, the pearls and it takes, if you're just beginning doing this, it takes a while to get that, that wire back through and that's okay. Take your time, get the wire through and there you have so far your necklace this is pretty cute pretty cute now what i need to do is i need to connect my toggle to my chain my other my other side of my toggle to my chain i'm going to get my split my jump ring and i'm going to take my pliers and move it one this way and one the other way i'm going to put my toggle and then I'm gonna get the end of my last link on that chain. Close up, yes. Okay, so it is closed up. Now I could, honestly, I've seen so many necklaces where they just have that and they're done, but I want to, I want to put a toggle on. And I've decided I'm gonna add a little silver in this because I love silver. I am a silver girl, I like my silver. I'm not really a gold wearer, um, I, if I do, I like to put silver in it. So what we're going to do is to put this pe pendant on, we're going to get another jump ring and we're going to open it. And then I am going to take my heart and then I'm going to take my plate and I am going to, then I'm going to take my toggle and we're going to connect them together. And I am going to close up just like that. <gasps> oh my goodness. I like that pendant a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And that, my fellow jewelers, is our pearl chain necklace. Okay, okay, that was a pretty simple necklace to make and it's super cute. And one of the things I really like about this necklace, I mean really like, is that the clasp is actually in front. The clasp is right here. You just put it on right here instead of going er, 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 and having a hard time putting it on, the clasp is right here. So I do like this, I think it's totally cute. If you like it as much as I did and love making it, give me a big old thumbs up, comment, share, like, tell all your friends about it. Um, also, I'm on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and I like to share sneak peeks with you for the week showing you the jewelry piece before the video comes out that's right so you can get a little sneaky peeky before it comes out but before I go you know I love praying for my viewers and this week I felt the Lord said to pray for broken hearts that some of you have broken hearts whether something happened that you did not expect to happen and you were just totally taken aback or maybe a relationship ended and your heart's just broken and so I'm gonna pray for your broken heart do you know that God is a, a heart healer he is a heart doctor and he loves healing our hearts. He loves putting them back together or actually even giving us a new heart. In Ezekiel it says, remove my heart of stone and give me a heart of flesh. Give me a new heart. That God doesn't even have to use your old heart. He can give you a completely new heart. So God, I pray for my viewers whose hearts are completely broken, God, that are just 
in pieces, falling apart. God, I pray that you would either put it back together or give them a brand new heart, God. The hurt that they feel, God, the, the pain that they feel, the disappointment and the, the, the rejection, God, I pray that you would heal all of that and that you would just use your situation for their good. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!